we're asked to evaluate the limits numerically, which means we will use a table of values. We will be using Desmos.com to create a table. First, we have the limit of x to the fifth divided by five to the power of x as x approaches infinity. So let's go to Desmos.com, click graphing calculator. So you can see what I'm entering. I'm going to use a Desmos keypad. To open the Desmos keypad, click the show keypad button in the lower left hand corner. Now we want to add a table, so we click on the plus in the upper left hand corner, select table. By default, x1 is in column one, y1 is in column two. Let's go and just clear x1 and just enter x. In column two, we'll clear y1 and enter our function x to the fifth, right arrow divided by five to the power of x. And now we'll go to the first column and enter x values approaching positive infinity. Let's just start with one, enter, 10, enter, 100, enter, 1,000, enter, 10,000, enter. We can keep going, but if we go back up to the table and see what's happening to the function values as x approaches infinity or gets larger and larger, we can see the function values get smaller and smaller and approach zero. Notice that x equals 1,000 and 10,000, the y value or function value is showing as zero. That's not really true, it's just so close to zero, the calculator is showing zero. So the limit of x to the fifth divided by five to the power of x as x approaches infinity equals zero. While we're here though, let's also verify this graphically. Let's go down to cell two and enter the function of y equals x to the power of five right arrow divided by five to the power of x. Let's go ahead and close the keypad. And now on the right of the screen, we can see the graph of the function. We could adjust the window by clicking on the wrench in the upper right hand corner, but this graph looks pretty good. If we click and hold on the graph, a point will show that we can then drag. Notice if we drag this point to the right, we can quickly see the function value or y value is approaching zero as x approaches infinity. So our first limit is equal to zero. Next, we have the limit of cosine x divided by x plus one as x approaches infinity. So going back to Desmos, let's go back up to the top of the table in column two and change the function. We are going to clear the existing function and enter cosine. We can find cosine by clicking on functions and then here's cosine x close parenthesis, divided by x, right arrow, plus one. Let's close the keypad. Let's get back over to the first column. Notice as x approaches infinity, we can see the function values appear to be approaching positive one, which is the limit. And again, let's also verify this by looking at the graph of the function. Notice we have these, notice how we have these green points on the coordinate plane here on the right. We can turn those off by clicking on the green circle in column two. Those are actually points on the new function we will graph now. So we'll go down to cell two, clear the old function, enter the new function, let's close the keypad. Taking a look at the graph on the right. Again, if we click and hold on the graph, we have a point we can animate to the right. As x approaches infinity, we can see the function values are approaching positive one. In this case, they do fluctuate between being more than one and less than one, but we can see they are approaching positive one. Again, if we wanted to, we can change the window by clicking on the wrench. For example, we can change the x max to let's say 100. To view more of the function to the right, once again we can see as x approaches infinity or moves to the right, the function values are approaching positive one, verifying the limit. I hope you found this helpful.